So, you know, radio frequency ablation is, you know, the, the term we often like to call it, like nerve burning, things like that. It's essentially using thermal heat to burn or cauterize the uh, nerve that innervates the joints of our spine. What we do is if we can burn those nerves, we can essentially de-innervate or stop transmission of pain from that joint. Usually people with pain from the joints or the facet joints as we call them, um, will have basically pain across the back. And most of the time it will be with activities. You know, they're usually okay when they're sitting and watching TV, um, but when they have to stand up, sit down, bend over, twist, um, motions of the spine, they'll start to develop increasing pain in the low back. And, and this is also true in the neck. They have to do a lot of head turning, they'll start to develop these pains in the neck. Um, and once again, it doesn't really radiate down the arms, it just simply stays in the neck and in the lower back. Once we kind of get that history, we then proceed down, you know, diagnostic blocks, and these are called medial, medial branch blocks. What we're really doing is injecting lidocaine to try to numb up the nerves that we theorize will be the ones causing the pain in the back. And so once we numb up these nerves and we de-innervate these joints, we then ask the patient, you know, did, is the pain better mm -hmm. and is it substantially better? If it's substantially better, we can deduce from that that this is the, the arthritic joint is most likely the cause of the pain. And then we then proceed on to actually burn the nerve that we tested. It does take a few months for the nerve to, re, to grow back, and mm -hmm. it does grow back at mm -hmm. some point, mm -hmm. but that may take six to nine months for that to happen. So essentially the patient may achieve, you know, six to nine months of high quality relief. If it reduces their pain significantly to improve their quality of life, now they can travel more, they can be more independent. I think look at those factors, um, even when they can't, even though these patients can't be pain free, I think that it still provides them a significant improvement in their quality of life.